Dear attendees, I am so happy to expose my work entitled Effect of Cross-Section Defects on CH3 and H3 Lead 3 Iodide Based Knee Planar Heterojunction Solar Cell. I am Hima Abdelkader from al University. Recently, perovskite-based solar cells are attracting scientific community attention due to its high electrical and optical performances. However, the effect of various defects in the bulk absorbing material and interfaces reveal important to be studied. In this paper is simulated a knee planar heterojunction solar cell with CH3 and H3 PBI3 perovskite material as absorbing layer. The simulated structure is PDOT PSS CH3 and H3 PBI3 PCBM where the PDOT PSS is the whole transporting material HTL CH3 and H3 Lead 3 iodide is the perovskite absorbing material PAL and the PCBM is the electron transporting material ETL. Found results show that the electron capture cross section effect is greater than the whole cross section effect. Obtained results are important to understand defect behavior on perovskite solar cells and hence to further optimizations of electrical and optical parameters. Solar cell technology is merge emerging field of research. Recently, perovskite-based solar cells (PCS) are in exponential evolution, especially in power conversion efficiency (PCE) that have stepped from 3.8% to up to 25% in a decade. However, the important problem in PSC is the misunderstood in material defects. In this work, using simulation efforts, others try to understand cross-section defects effect on PSC electrical performances, which are the VOC, the GSC, the FF, and the PCE. The methodology uh, adopted for this uh, paper is uh, the simulation of the NEP dot PSS CH3 and H3 PBI3 PCBM perovskite uh, solar cell, which is simulated using SCAPS software as presented in this slide. Where we can find three layers: the dot PSS uh, layer, which is the HTL, the perovskite layer, which is the PAL uh, layer, and the PCBM layer, which is the ETL. Uh, layer. Used simulation initial parameters are presented in this figure. Firstly, the capture cross section defect for electrons and holes is set to 10 e minus 50 50 centimeter cube then we change the capture cross section defect for electrons from 10 e minus 10 to 10 e minus 19 and take the electron parameters values then we change the capture cross section defect of uh, for holes from 10 e minus 10 to 10 e minus 19 and then take the electrical parameter values found results are presented in the following figures firstly the field, uh, the electron cross section effect on field factor then the electron cross section effect on power conversion efficiency which is presented in this figure then the electron cross section defect effect on VOC open circuit voltage which is presented in this figure 
and the electron cross section effect on GSC which is the current short, short circuit current density and uh, the figure shown we can found we can uh, see that uh, from 1 e minus 19 to 1 e minus 15 all the parameters are almost constant in a high in a high value then we can see a uh, rapid decreasing a rapid decreasing to a lower values to a lower values and all the uh, figures this can be explained by the fact that when we have a low uh, defect concentration we have a high performances and once we have a uh, high uh, defects uh, we have a degradation of all the parameters due to these uh, defects. Next, we have the whole cross section effect on GSC then we have in this figure the whole cross-section effect on power conversion efficiency in the following figure we can see the whole cross-section effect on VOC and finally we can see the whole cross-section effect on fill factor we can see from the uh, last uh, four uh, figures that all the parameters are fixed in a uh, uh, range, in a uh, small range, right? That means that the variation is not very, very important for each parameter. So we can understood or we can uh, conclude that uh, the whole cross-section uh, defect have not a big effect on electrical and uh, electrical parameters of the solar cell. So we can conclude that the capture cross-section defect for electrons and holes effect on different perovskite solar cell electrical parameter was investigated and it is found that in the capture cross-section defect for electrons uh, range of 10 e minus 15 centimeter cube to 10 e minus 19 centimeter cube all the electrical parameters have a stable have a stable high values however it is found that the capture cross section defect for holes range of uh, 10 e minus 17 uh, centimeter uh, centimeter cube to 10 e minus 19 uh, centimeter cube all the electrical parameters have uh, higher values Best found electrical values are PCE equal to 14.11 percent, fill factor of 77.73 percent, the open circuit voltage is equal to 0.88 volts, and the short circuit density of currents is equal to 20.7 milliampere per, uh, per centimeter cube, corresponding to 10. Uh, e minus 19 centimeter cube and 10 e minus 15 for electron and hole defect cross section respectively and this slide is presented the uh, uh, bibliography of uh, this work thank you so much for your attention